what's going on guys just got back from the fish store picked up another peppermint shrimp a big female this time around Let's see if we can see it right here she has eggs and I picked up a little piece of some type of mackerel algae I'm not quite sure and I picked up an emerald crab a small one um, the reason for the emerald crab is because if you look in the pico tank you'll see a ton of bubble algae and it's growing like crazy I know the flashlight is on right now so it's kind of hard to see but trust me it's it's going a little haywire with bubble algae and I had originally two peppermint shrimp in my main display but they seem to have disappeared I don't really have fish big enough to eat them so I'm not quite sure what happened there but I'm gonna try a bigger one this one is probably bigger than my cleaner shrimp but right around the same size that's Def definitely girthier and we will see what happens with her and we'll see what goes on moving forward so I'll keep you guys posted and let you know what uh, the status of those guys are and I'm gonna try and grow out this macroalgae right here I'm going to actually clean out the sump right now, um, get out some of this uh, hair algae so I can have some room to grow that piece of algae. So let's uh, grab a container, probably just grab, I usually use, this is also my, my general drip acclimation uh, container. And before I forget, I also picked up another heater. This is a 200 watt Phoenix heater. It's gonna be going on the two and one. I'm currently running a another Phoenix 100 watt heater, and I just it's just not strong enough, not powerful enough. So I kind of have to keep my heat on in my room to assist it. So I'm trying to eliminate that by removing the 100 watt heater, replacing it with a 200 watt heater and hopefully I will be able to um, sustain the heat and temperature that I want without having to have my ambient temperature affecting it. So I will also be getting a controller for that so I won't have to worry about that. All right guys, so it's time to um, open up the bags for the shrimp and the emerald crab. I use this innovative marine drip acclimation thing um, it worked really well so I'm gonna go ahead and use that it's simple you just open up the bags you pour in some of the water I use a shallower bowl because I don't have to use as much water to dilute so I use the least amount of water to keep the, the fish and the shrimp or whatever livestock uh, submerged just enough and that way I don't need as much water from my system to dilute that system to dilute that um solution that original water solution and then it works out pretty good i don't have to drip acclimate as long so everything works out really well so, all right it's probably probably been about 15 minutes the drip acclimation is done like i said i find for crustaceans um inverts they don't really need um a long drip acclimation for these guys at least shrimp and crabs snails are a different story I just find that they really don't have a hard time adjusting um, again that shell does kind of help them with this in my opinion so it's time for the shrimp I'm gonna go ahead and just use my hand and cause the least amount of stress as possible all right, I got her. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna try and put her, release her close to the rocks away from the fire shrimp because hopefully it'll hang on to my hand until I get it up. Oh, and there she goes. Let's see how she fares. And she's in the tank now. Um, she's looking a little weak. Um, I'll see if that plays a role in her success, but I think she'll be fine. There goes the, um, yeah, he's, he's picking on it because 
that's his his territory and he doesn't like anything near his territory not not shrimp not other fish my neon dotty back is ruthless and if I was this shrimp I would move um, I would strongly advise she move and there she goes and he's still bullying her a little bit because Again, she's still in his area. Let's move on to the other side. There. <laughs> and he probably has figured out that she has eggs by now as well. Yeah, so the neon dotty bag's picking on the shrimp. Um, and the shrimp just made a very terrible mistake and went under the rock. Yep, there it goes, where the dotty bag lives. Um, this is just not the place for it to be. It needs to get out of there. Um, this is where the dotty back lives and he doesn't tolerate anyone near his home. Now we're gonna head over to this guy. Head over to the uh, Rico's Pigo 2.0. We're gonna do the same thing with the ammo crab. Um, gonna see if we can get him without hurting him. All right, he's on my finger, which is cool. He climbed up there, no issues. Then we're gonna go ahead and release him into this tank. Oop, there he goes. And he should catch himself. And there he is. Not the most graceful entrance, but he's in and we're gonna hope he recovers and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So it's been about two days. Today's the 22nd since I purchased the peppermint shrimp and emerald crab and I purchased them on the 20th. Today is the 22nd. And as you can see up in this far corner, there is the peppermint shrimp. She still has her eggs. She's doing well. I was feeding her earlier this morning. Um, we had a big snowstorm last night and I wasn't home uh, throughout the day. So I wasn't able to give you guys an update. But I decided to take the sponge off the wave maker because just it was too much work taking it out almost daily to clean and I believe the anemone has picked a spot that it is looking like it will stay for quite a while so I I'm hoping that it doesn't move and it stays where it is and that way I can get the flow back and uh, where I want it to be in the aquarium so like I said, the peppermint shrimp's doing well. Most of the coral's doing pretty good. Still trying to save my green bird's nest over here. It's struggling a bit, but hopefully it pulls through. All the fish are okay. And next step is dosing. So let's head over to the Pico tank and check out the emerald crab to see how it's doing. So there's the emerald crab, it's doing well. Um, it hasn't made its way to the top to deal with the bubble algae. Now you can see a better view of the bubble algae. The tank needs to be cleaned. I am gonna be doing a water change in a little bit um, and a thorough cleaning. I'm gonna try and use my uh, coral feeder pipette thing to try and suck out some of this bubble algae and we'll see. But everything's doing well. Just wanted to give you guys an update on on what's uh, on the shrimp and the crab, just so you can see that everything did survive and everything's doing well. So thank you guys for watching. Again, thanks for stopping by Budget Aquatics. If you like what you see, don't forget to show some love, like and subscribe, leave a comment below. Just let me know your ideas on the channel, your ideas on my content. And look at the flow now it's great and this is on its this is a jbow pp4 and it is on its minimum setting as you can see and everything's doing great so all right thanks guys have a good one